This is the Play Plus from Polyend, a brand new groove box that builds off of the original Polyend Play by adding synth engines, stereo samples, and more. Here you're hearing the brand new synth engines built into the Play Plus. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the new features of Play Plus and show you how it improves my already favorite groove box, the original Polyend Play. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Polyend for sending over a review unit early for me to check out, and let's get started. What's up and welcome back to another video. So I already did a full length feature video and review on the Poly and Play last year. So I definitely urge you guys to check that out first because I go into depth about exactly how it works, why I like it so much, and I teach you how to use it to make really awesome generative beats. Today, on the other hand, we're gonna be a little bit more informal. We're gonna dive into the synth engines, make some music, have some fun, and just overall check out the new features that they added. Thanks so much as always for watching. My name is Miles Away. Let's get started and let's make some music. All right, so here we are on the front panel of the brand new Play Plus. As you can see, it's almost identical besides the new logo and title. Uh, so let's check out some of the new features. So right off the bat, probably the most interesting new features is the added synth engine. So we get there, as you can see, by pressing shift and patterns, and then let's add in some MIDI notes and check these out. So let's turn down our tempo here. Right off the bat, one of my favorite things about the Play Plus is how good all of the different synth engines sound, because I think that's one thing that can be a little bit tough when you are working with a, you know, do everything style groove box, uh, a jack of all trades, master of none sometimes, not the case with the Play Plus. The virtual analog sounds are my favorite, but all of the engines sound fantastic. So let's grab a preset as a starting point. I like this Blade Runner one. And let's make some sort of little arpeggiated melody, I think. Let's go and do this. So we've got this really nice, basic, arpeggiated melody. So let's go ahead and select all and send it to some reverb. Now, all of the poly and stuff, whether it's the tracker, tracker mini, play, has incredible sounding reverbs and delays. So let's go ahead and uh, get these effects right right off the bat so we go there master effects let's make our reverb a custom one let's make it massive we're gonna make an ambient synthwave track so damping down maybe a little bit less diffusion a little bit less pre-delay loving that let's do the same with the delay uh, let's use a, a preset actually for the delay. I like that one, it's very ambient. Okay, next up, let's make a bass line. So we'll go ahead and do the ACD one. So I'm just gonna put in quarter notes again. One, two, three, four. You know what? I'm actually gonna edit this Blade Runner sound. I knew I was missing something before, but uh, this is a perfect place to show you guys how to edit. So we go into our VIP synth. Blade Runner, edit patch. As you can see, we can initialize, we can save as new, but let's go ahead and let's turn this into more of a plucked sound. So um, if we go ahead and uh, grab the attack and the envelope amount, let's turn the resonance up a little bit too. Really nice sounding resonant filters on these on these synths. Really impressive for a uh, a digital groove box. All right, so then let's jump to our baseline here. Go to ACD, and let's check this out. All right, that's better. So let's see. Ooh, I like that. Let's go ahead and make this nice and long with release. There we go. So let's go ahead and I'm loving this baseline sound. 
let's program a baseline. So if we want to make a full chord progression that's four bars, let's go ahead and increase our pages here. So uh, we will go ahead, copy and paste the note, turn it up a couple semitones. Beautiful. Next page. So after fast forwarding through plugging in those notes, our bass line sounds like this. One of the coolest things about the Play Plus is the way it allocates its eight synth voices. So the best way to explain this is, uh, for example, if we wanted to do chords now, we could use up to six remaining voices to do these huge chords. Or conversely, if we wanted to just take these, the same sound and just have more voices allocated to this sound doing, doing different things, right? We can totally do that. So let's, let's play with this first. So I've just created a second layer of this Blade Runner synth pluck to showcase kind of how you can creatively utilize the voice limit. So here, what we have so far is a single track of bass and then up to three tracks of ringing out interesting plucks that's just going to create a really beautiful sort of like cascading sound. And we can actually allocate exactly how many voices we want in each of these. So for example, if I want to go ahead into my ACD, it's already set to one. But for example, if we ever wanted to do chords, we can do that. But so let's go ahead then and use these last two tracks here to make a really simple uh, chord progression that follows our uh, bass line. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to copy everything. Let's just go back to the main menu. Copied, right? Paste, right? So now, uh, what we've got, I'm going to go ahead first things first and change this to the wavetable synth. So if I solo this with our ARP, now we should hear our wavetable synth, which we're going to choose a patch to work as chords. Beautiful. So then if we go into our synths and we go into wavetable, we'll grab this and let's start playing with some patches. Let's check it out. Definitely not that one. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Mm, maybe a little bit too FME. I like this classic electric piano sound. And just like the other bass line, we're just going to make it have a really nice long release. And what we'll do here is we grab this one, copy it, and then paste it right here. And then we can build our chords, right? So if we solo both of these together, and then we only affect the pitch of the second one, Make a fifth. Beautiful. So right there, let's go ahead and add a little bit of reverb to these chords. We're making this really ambient. Bring in our bass. Sounding really good. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn down the volume of this wavetable synth because it's very, very loud relative to the others, which you have volume control over everything. And then let's hear. Beautiful. Turn up the cutoff a bit on the pluck. I'm loving how that's sounding, and I think we're ready to check out the sample section. So to get back to samples, which is what the original play was known for, we're going to go ahead and press shift and pattern, and it changes to the original poly and play mode that you're probably used to unless you were using it to sequence MIDI gear. So let's go ahead and load in one of the new stereo sample packs, because one of the really cool new features is that you are able to actually load in stereo samples now uh, before it was mono only. So let's load in stereo dub techno pack and see what we can do. All right, so we've got our stereo sample pack. You can hear some of those basses have really nice stereo spread. 
that one in particular I love. Um, so let's go ahead and use one of the poly and plays most fun features, which is the fill parameter. Now I'm going to go through a lot of the features, but not everything. If you want to see my full length poly and play video from last year, I highly recommend you check it out in the description above right now. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, let's fill it with IDM. Let's hear that. No, thank you. So if you don't like the samples, you can always press fill again. I think that's a good starting point. And I am going to go back to our synth uh, melody here. And again, just change the, uh, the pluck to be a little bit less in your face. We can always automate that more later, but I think I turned up the filter cutoff a bit too much when I was making it. So let's check this out here. Much better, much more vibey. So I'm gonna go ahead and change our kick here. Much better. Let's change the snare too. Add some delay to the snare. And I actually don't mind this hi-hat, but I am gonna see what else we have. That's a vibe. You can see just how quick it is to just get a groove going, which I just, there's something about the play, the workflow just works so well for me. Let's use our fill again. Let's fill in Euclidean. So this is just kind of like generative random. Cool, that's kind of cool. We're gonna grab our randomized parameter. Randomize the sample in the folder. Love it. Make the chance of probability very low. Turn this down a little bit. Let's make this one have a ratchet. Right? Sounds awesome. I actually think we could probably benefit from copying our synth bass over and using one of these new nice stereo sample basses. So let's grab this guy. I think this is our bass here. Perfect. And we will go ahead and copy that. Really cool that you can uh, copy and paste between the sections. So now if I paste here, probably need to just extend that first and then paste. There we go, that's a vibe. Let's uh, go to our master effects here and uh, we're gonna add some saturation and side chaining. So I'm gonna side chain to track one and then saturate the master. This should give us a bit more edge. Beautiful. So we're starting to get a pretty good sounding pattern between our two sides, our new synth engine and our new stereo sampling side. Let's go ahead and just fill up these last three sampling tracks because we can. I'll show you one of my favorite play hacks. So if I, oh, sorry, not Euclidean. If I go ahead and just put in like random beats here, I really like doing this because obviously we already have a beat. We probably don't want the same instruments, but what could be really fun is if you grab like some sort of interesting pre-made beat. Let's try this. Let's hear how that sounds. And again, it's going to sound bad at first because the samples are wrong. It's actually not, not sounding too bad, right? Again, this is the king of happy accident machines. Um, so what we can do, let's hear. Do I actually like that kick more than my original? No, I like my original. What my tip was going to be, if you allow me to stop rambling for a sec, is grab your pre-made beat that you've put on top as kind of like a little sweetener, a little extra, and then just totally change the sample folder, right? So if we already used perks. Ooh, glitch. Ooh, interesting. Let's hear how that sounds. Cool. Let's randomize the sample and folder. Turn it down. 
Hit it with some delay. High pass. And let's hear all this. I kind of like this new snare layer. I'm going to keep that. But this one, just a regular basic hi-hat. Let's, let's do a, my favorite thing, which is the Duke Nukem. Yeah, I love that. And uh, I don't think I saved my randomized before, so let's... Let's Duke Nukem it as well. So now we're getting into, like, the power of the play, right? So if I start to play everything together, let's hear it. Just so sick. Like, it's like this really, really cool, like, IDM synthwave jam that we've made super quickly in under 20 minutes. But as I'm sure you're aware, or maybe not, depending on how much you know about the original play. The most fun thing about the play is the play modes, the generative side, and the perform effects. So what I absolutely love is that just like you can with the samples, you can use these really unique play modes to totally change up your sound. So for example, what I like to do if I select everything, except for the chords and the bass, I don't want to select that because again, we want to root our song somewhere, right? But then Let's just go ahead and, uh, and solo these so you can hear before I add the drums. So if I press play, just our, our melody that we made. But then if I use our play modes here, we can start to just totally mess with things. Like for example, playing them in different orders. Completely new song, right? We can make unequal track lengths to get a really generative sound going. I'm actually really liking that. Let's let's check this out. Bring back in our, our beat. And let's do the same with some of these guys. We'll grab everything except for our sub and our kick drum. And play mode. Let's mess with this. So cool, right? Just a brand new beat right here. And why this is so fun is because it allows you just instantly get new material out of what you've been coming up with. I think I like that one, that's pretty cool. So to wrap things up, I'm gonna perform this song for you now live using the amazing performance mode. I'm also gonna add a little bit of mixing and mastering in Logic by streaming this over USB audio. Well, that's where I'm going to wrap things up for today. If this video inspired you and you want to get your own Polyend Play Plus, check the link in my description. If you already have a Polyend Play, you can upgrade it for a fee by sending it into Polyend on their website. As always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and thanks so much to Polyend for sending over the Play Plus for me to check out. I'll see you in the next one.